Thank you guys for coming here and being willing to share your experience in searching for scholarships. I'm Isaac Cook, the Assistant Director for Student Recruitment here at Grove City College. Uh, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourselves. Hello, I'm Daniel Orsborn. I'm a Grove City freshman. Hi, I'm Janessa Dawson. I'm a Grove City senior. Hi, I'm Molly. I'm a sophomore here at Grove City College. Hi, I'm Eleni, and I'm a freshman here at Grove City College. Can you share which scholarships you won and approximately how much money you brought in with them? So I won uh, around five to six scholarships, and in total I covered my full tuition, but I'll break that down a little bit. From my school, um, I received around uh, three scholarships. Uh, I got the, like, the information about these scholarships like from my guidance counselor's office. They also had it on the website. Among these was one about the Rotary. Uh, I had, they personally, the school funded uh, $2,000 a year scholarships. So to anyone that's uh, applied, and it was like a local scholarship, so I applied for that. And then in addition, my school had one uh, full ride scholarship, which I applied to, and I fortunately got that. That was a Theodore Vogley scholarship. So I, I applied to my school scholarships, but then I also did some outside ones. I got the Burger King scholarship. In addition, I kind of looked for like connections within my family and my parents. And my dad was a Mason, so I got uh, two Masonic scholarships, uh, which in total was around three thousand dollars, two thousand of which is like every year. So it was very helpful. In addition to my scholarships I received from Grove City, I got about eleven scholarships um, from outside sources. Uh, in order to do that, I went to my guidance counselor. I went to a local scholarship organization. They had a big website with a huge list of possible scholarships to apply to. Um, a lot of them were for uh, high school seniors going into their first year, so I got about $10,000 from uh, about 11 scholarships um, from my first year of college, and then I get two outside scholarships um, per year. So I've been very blessed to have my undergrad completely paid for from a mixture of scholarships from Grove City. I had some money come from that. But I also have been very blessed to have a lot of outside scholarships come through, uh, particularly some renewable ones, which those add up. So year after year, um, they help count towards my, my undergrad. I think this year I brought in about what half of my tuition was. A couple that I'd like to highlight would be uh, the Virginia Association of Fairs, uh, some local Christian scholarships that I applied for, as well as the Alumni Merit Scholarship here at Grove City. Where did you search for these scholarships and how did you hear about them? And were your parents involved at all in the process? I'm the daughter of a single mom who at the time was working three jobs. So I felt very overwhelmed going into the scholarship search process. I wasn't really sure where to look or even where to begin. But I was very blessed to have teachers um, who rallied behind me and helped me uh, explore local scholarship opportunities. Also, I recommend reaching out to your guidance counselor too. They're a great resource to pick their brain and see what's available locally. And also put yourself out there for um, bigger name scholarships. You might think that they might not work out, but if you put your name out there, you never know what might happen. Continue to be an optimist. It's really hard to continue to have that positive attitude. Uh, I came from a very different background. I was homeschooled. So I didn't really have a guidance counselor. I had my parents. My parents were very willing and excited to help me in the scholarship search, but a lot of the work definitely fell on me. So there were some practical ways that they helped me, but really just continuing to search and apply for as many as you can. If you apply for 20, it would be great if you got two. So just cast a wide net and apply for anything and everything, even if it's just a little $500 one from your town or the Google Doodle scholarship? So primarily I search like through the school or through the local community. No matter where you live, like there's someone in the community giving scholarships. And that's a very important connection because if you just look nationally, like anyone can apply. But local scholarships, it's very specific who they want and you can qualify. So look through the school, look through outside connections. If, if your parents work some of that as scholarships, that's a great connection. Any kind of extracurricular activities I looked at, I'm an Eagle Scout, so I did Boy Scout scholarships, look there. Uh, just any kind of connection you have, you need to look to see if there's any opportunity there. I went to the local, local scholarship organization, uh, looked on their list, they had a bunch of different options. I also had a lot of connections through sports in high school and just different uh, volunteer and leadership organizations I was in. Um, but just definitely putting yourself out there and getting to know a lot of different people so they already have a face to a name. Uh, years before you apply, that's not the reason for getting to know them, but definitely it's cool to make connections in the community. 
What advice and practical tips would you give to high school seniors currently searching and looking to win scholarships? I would have two big tips. One, like really apply. Like don't just apply to like four or five, just apply to as many that you qualify for because so many people that are really qualified for scholarships don't apply. I had a lot of friends I knew that qualified for a ton of scholarships and didn't do very many, even though that they could have qualified for a lot more. So there's no reason not to, if your school has 10 of them and you qualify for seven, fill out all seven. You probably won't get most of them. I filled out like 20 and only got like five or six, but out of that, that ended up paying for my college tuition. And then my second biggest tip is figure out like what the community that you're like applying for, who's giving out the scholarship, like what they stand for, what their values are and where the connection is. Like, for example, a lot of local scholarships, you want to say kind of like how you can help the community or how you've helped the community and, and just see how your values align. I would say I have a few tips as well. T keeping a log of all the activities you do throughout high school really helps. Volunteer activities, any extracurricular events, um, leadership opportunities you've had, just keeping a log of all of that so when you go to fill out the scholarship applications, you already have a big bank of everything that you've done. Um, and it just helps the process e be a little bit easier. Also, when you apply for scholarships, save your essays and keep them in a Word doc because you never know, different scholarships might have similar prompts, so you already have a solid essay for one of them that you might just have to tweak to apply for another one. But I would just say, listen to the other people that you know that have won those scholarships in the past, the things that help them succeed and uh, help them make a good impression. And definitely after you apply or when you get the scholarships, make sure you're sending in uh, thank you letters, which just sharing your gratitude for these people helping you uh, come to college. And then as each year progresses, they'll know your name and know that you're really grateful and it can increase your chances of getting it year after year. So my first piece of advice is to stay organized. Um, personally, when I was looking through all these different scholarships, I kept a Google spreadsheet and I would type in the deadlines for each scholarship to make sure I stayed on top of things. I would also color code it too because I'm a very visual person. So <laughs> seeing, oh, okay, this scholarship's in the yellow zone. I need to start applying and thinking about how I'm going to answer those questions. Um, another piece of advice that I would say is when you're filling out the scholarships, a lot of them ask for an essay for you to explain your personal background, your story. And it sounds cliche, but really try to think about um, your unique God-given gifts. It's very easy to overlook them and to take that attitude of, oh, I have nothing to offer when you do you do have your own unique set of gifts. So really try to think about that when you're applying. Like there's the, the very practical side, which is you have to search. So with me, since my mom is a stay at home mom, she was very willing to help me. So unfortunately with all the college admissions spam, I was also getting spam from things like scholarship web, uh, niche, scholarship owl. There's a ton of scholarship finder uh, sites out there and my mom kind of acted as the middleman and the go-between to figure out which ones were actually legit. So if you have another person helping you, highly recommend it. Again, like it's really about casting a wide net. So once you have your pool and really look everywhere, look online, look in your town, look in your school and look in your interests. Where are you from? I'm part Native American, so I'm actually eligible for funds through the Muscogee Nation. What? What's in your heritage? What kind of organizations can you get in touch with? Are you part of Daughters of the Revolution? There's scholarships there too. Who are your parents? Where did they come from? You might be eligible for funds there. Really like look everywhere. The second piece of advice that I would say is be dil diligent with each one. So keep a list of a lot of questions that they ask. I have a probably 30 page Word document with just questions and answers and answers and questions and all of them are a little bit different, but make sure that you tweak them because each of these scholarship places that they're offering, they're offering for a reason and there's that connection for them. Otherwise they wouldn't be doing it. So appeal to them by appealing to you. How do you stand out from the other candidates? Not in a showy way, but in a way that's genuine to yourself. What do you bring to the table and what do you have to offer? And the third tip that I have is email afterwards. Just say, thank you so much for offering this opportunity. Here's my name. Please let me know if you need anything else. I'm happy to get in touch with you because that way your name gets seen a second time. So stay organized, make sure that you're diligent, and also don't be afraid to follow up. Just go after it with the same diligence and tenacity that you do with the rest of your classes. What impact, if any, did these scholarships have on your being able to come to Grove City itself? 
Uh, it made a huge difference paying for it. Really, like I said, my full tuition's paid for, and that's just kind of a game changer, like not having any debt, not having to worry about you know, paying bills. I, I live in a family like we have three kids kind of going through college, so that's kind of tough, so that definitely helps. Getting scholarships definitely helped with the burden of uh, school on my family's lives. Um, I have a sister who also went through college and my family's helping me pay for it, so anything that I could come up with for myself would just kind of alleviate the burden for my family. So I was really blessed to be able to um, have a family that was supporting me and also be able to bring in additional funds from scholarships. For me, I would not be able to afford Grove City College if I didn't have outside scholarships coming through. So it for sure made an impact on my decision to come here. And I'm, I'm just so thankful that they did come through because it's, I've had an amazing two years here so far. One of the things about Grove City is that since they don't play games with the tuition and the room and board, like it is what it is. So you can get a $35,000 scholarship from another place, but really when the numbers boil down, they're pretty comparable to Grove City. So for me, it just all boiled down to the affordability, the scholarships that were coming through, and honestly, like the environment. Like, I really wanted to come to Grove City, and I really wanted it to be financially possible. So outside scholarships were a must for me too. Thank you guys so much for sharing. We hope this was helpful for you um, as you're searching for um, private scholarships out there. Um, feel free to reach out to our office. Our team will be happy to help you um, give some insight and provide some um, helpful advice.